EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for January 6th, 2023. It is Friday, end of the work week, and the Friday video forecast is probably sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated, operated business with two locations in the Lehigh Valley region of eastern Pennsylvania. Their original Southside Allentown location at 102 East Susquehanna Street is open seven days a week and features a full food menu, over 17 different beers to choose from, along with local wine and cocktails and they have trivia nights every wednesday evening at their second location mccall collective tap house in trexler town located at 7743 hamilton boulevard you can find 10 beers on draft along with a house smoked barbecue menu that is open also open seven days a week for more information about their upcoming events visit their facebook page or to place online orders visit their website mccallcollectivebrewing.com they are proud sponsors of the friday video forecast so today uh, just a quick uh, overview of today we are going to have some clouds this morning we're going to have a, a cold front moving through the region this morning uh, and uh, so that is going to keep temperatures down in our far northwestern and western areas a little warmer at the coast today until that moves through you see the temperature spread 38 to 50 that's quite a spread but that's because that cold front's moving through and associated with that there will be a few rain or snow showers early on and it's just for a few few, uh, few locations as you can see here on the nam high res future simulated radar starting us off at seven o'clock in the morning so this is what had this batch up here uh is actually what came through overnight last evening and overnight okay and that's moving off in this direction like this so it's out of the region but then you have all this right here that is going to be moving through and there could be on the southern fringe of that there's going to be some rain or snow rain snow mix on the southern part northern side when you get up here by center county clinton county tioga county lycoming county you'll have some snow with that and there could be on grassy surfaces according to an inch with that as it moves off to the north and east so here's what that looks like as i move this forward and it's going to be falling apart as it does so so it's not going to be like a real big deal uh, but again those areas uh, the far northwestern areas could get into some very minor grass accumulations before this moves away and then afternoon we are going to have clouds giving way to sun okay gradually but we'll have clouds giving way to sun some partial clearing during the afternoon and uh, that's it that's all we have for precipitation today it goes to partly cloudy skies overnight below freezing overnight and then saturday uh, we're, uh, we're looking at a partly to mostly cloudy day similar temperatures except the high end is not going to be as high because the cold frost now through so 45 is the top end in temperatures here on uh on saturday and that's going to be mainly the southeastern areas coastal areas places like that right for the rest of us are going to be lower 40s generally or upper 30s in the uh, far northern areas on saturday okay so uh before i get in any further uh because i'm going to talk about thread the needle stuff and a lot of people don't understand what thread the needle means so if you do not follow me on twitter uh it is uh, my handle is epawawx or just type in epawa it'll come up under my name it'll say bobby martrich epawa hold the verified check mark whatever uh that is me okay so even though it's, it says EPAWA on it, there's no business account. Like we have a business page on Facebook. I don't have a business account necessarily dedicated that everybody from EPAWA posts. This is my personal account on Twitter. But what I will do on Twitter is things I don't do on Facebook. And that is uh, answer questions. I will do, uh, I'll post these tidbits every once in a while. They're very informative about maybe things coming up or uh maybe the pattern going forward here so you don't have to wait for the long range uh on friday if you're one of those that just are not uh, one of our forum members that get it monday and wednesday uh you're waiting for the friday long range outlook and, and any updates i usually give updates throughout the week if there's something significant coming up and i did that a couple days ago i'm just going to read the tweet to you and it says any snow events now through the middle of january will be thread the needle events requiring ideal timing and track in an otherwise iffy background state. What does that mean? That means that the pattern's not very good right now. Right? You know that, right? We haven't had much snow uh, and it's been very mild to start January. And I got news for you. Even though these temperatures are coming down considerably from what they were a couple days ago or even yesterday, uh, it's not going to be nearly that mild, but this is still technically slightly above, uh, above average and we won't get to below average until we get to about Thursday of this week, okay? For a couple days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, right? After that, uh, once you get past the middle of the month, the 16th through about the 25th, that 10-day period there, back to warm again, okay? So and you'll, you'll see that reflected in the long-range outlook that I do 
uh, this morning because today's Friday, of course. I do the long range every single Friday. Uh, it gets uh, it will get cooler Thursday, but it's still going to be marginal temp temperatures, meaning it's going to be near average. But this time of year, near average is good enough to support snow. You don't need below average temperatures in the middle of January to produce snow because it's the coldest climatological period of the year. Uh, but systems still need to coincide with those transient cooler shots. The first of those two systems is going to be Sunday night into Monday morning. Second is the 13th through 15th period. It's a winter storm signal we have. Uh, actually, I don't think it's reflected publicly. It will be tomorrow, but it was not reflected. It was reflected in our... Uh, I do the form updates uh, long-range Monday and Wednesdays. That has been updated in there as the 13th, 15th time frame for a winter storm signal. That will be updated today in the public long-range outlook as well. So just moving this ahead, here's the first of those two systems. Uh, again, Saturday's dry, partly to mostly cloudy, right? Sunday starts off uh, is a partly cloudy day. I don't think expect any precipitation to come in here uh, until the evening and overnight, right? Here's what the GFS has. It's one of those thread the needle situations here where it's coming in just at the right time because on Sunday, it's still going to be uh, mild enough during the day. It's going to be, you know, generally upper 30s to low 40s for highs, right? Okay, those are your, that's your temperature spread on Sunday. That's still too warm for snow to occur and stick, right? But since it's coming in the evening and night when it's colder, this is a perfectly timed thread the needle system. It's to coincide with the colder air. Now we have this weak low pressure moving through the Ohio Valley. It's going to push eastward, and you can see some snow showers that are working across the region. This is not a big storm, and it never was a big storm, right? But this is not, and it's not expected to turn into a big one. But there are some snow showers across our region here on the GFS that goes into Monday morning before it pulls away. Uh, it is a situation where you can get a coating to an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow in some spots, okay? So it's not great, but it's something, right, if you're looking for snow. Uh, and every other model has something like that. Here's the uh, NAM at max range. Uh, the rain this evening for Monday morning have some snow showers, at least in our southern portions of our region. The same thing here on the European model. It runs out of range. But the idea is all this stuff still has to move through. So, uh, you know, we have some snow shower activity picked up on every single model for that time frame, which will be Sunday night into Monday morning before it just pulls away. And you might be able to get some minor snow out of it. It might not be a big deal, but it's something, right? Once we get past this, though, uh, we're going to turn slightly above average Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So so we have the morning snow showers, maybe some partial clearing late in the day. Tuesday's a partly cloudy day. Wednesday's morning clouds giving way to sun. We're going to have a reinforcing cold front come through here on Wednesday. No precipitation with it, though, but it's just going to bring in another trough, right? Another trough, another shot of cold air uh, here on uh, Wednesday that's going to come in for Thursday behind it. All right, so Thursday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, slightly above average. Then we get slightly near to slightly below average. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That window of opportunity there when it's colder could lead to a snow event uh, in our region or somewhere near our region. It's still a little bit too far out there in, in, in La La Land here uh, where we're talking about the day eight or day nine into the future where the models are trying to reconcile this. Okay, so they're showing all kinds of crazy solutions. One, to, you know, sometimes it'll show something just going out to sea. Sometimes it'll show a rain system like the UGFS showed this evening or snow to rain. Uh, I don't think this is right at all, but, uh, you know, whatever. The GFS is trying to guess, like a lot of the models are doing. So what do we do in that situation? We go to the ensembles. The ensembles are run an additional 50 times. So we take the operational run, it's run an additional 50 times on the Euro European ensemble. Each one of these little uh, L's that are on here, it might be hard to see on your video depending on what device you're using, but these red, they might look like dots to you, but these are, are, are all low positions, the model's forecasting, that at this exact time frame, the low pressure center will be. Okay, and any of these northwest leaning track members up here would produce a snowfall across our region. The ones that are further southeast would not. Okay, there is a considerable spread here, and that can be expected this kind of range here. But the fact that you have this many members northwest leaning of the mean, which is the center position right here, uh, is very telling. And that's telling me that we have to look out for a possible winter storm threat in a thread the needle fashion. It is thread the needle because it's coinciding with a very tight window of opportunity uh, in this range. It is just a potential. That's all it is. Okay. Does it have potential to be a system that's going to just head out to sea and harmlessly and miss us? Yes, it does. Does it have the potential to hit? Yes, it does. Does it have the potential to be a very large storm, big snowstorm? Yes, it does. Okay, we don't know these answers yet, though. 
Uh, but this is going to happen. It has to happen right here in this window. Because after that, again, once I said, uh, once you get past mid-month, we start mild, get turning milder again for about a 10-day period through about the 25th or thereabout before we start turning cooler again. And you have a very tight window. Then you're kicking the can down the road for winter even further if this does not hit. Okay? And it's a very real possibility. So we're going to continue to focus this on this next week, not this week. Next week, we'll, we'll focus on this. Uh, first order of business is going to be uh, with this system coming in here on Sunday night in the Monday morning. Again, it's a minor system, but it's something. And it's uh, our next system that we'll be tracking here uh, over the next couple of days. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for January 6th, 2023. Have a great Friday.